Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center just off the Vegas Strip for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds of lightweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Davis is making his way to the ring. You wouldn't know he's about to step into a fight. He looks like he's just out for a stroll. Cruz is almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Round number one. Scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Now hugging on the inside. Teddy, if I put two fighters in front of you and say you can train, both of these guys have equal talent, but you can train the lefty or you can train the righty, who would you pick? Well, usually the lefty has a little advantage because you haven't seen them too often. And that's always going to be something that's going to really serve them a little bit. But they might not have an advantage in the business end of it. A lot of guys won't fight your fighter. And then what are you going to do? You got to see that was coming. The clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Davis. Halfway through round number one. Good defense, just covering up down low. Targeting a left hand down low. Not much action as he just ties up. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Davis is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Yeah, that's it. And he's holding. And here he goes again with the clinching. Back to the body. Keep it up. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Come on, kid, focus. End of the round. And this is a little bit hard to take if you're sitting back at home watching this fight and saying, I, I just don't get it. I mean, if you want to win the fight, you have to throw punches. Maybe he doesn't want to win the fight. See, you're taking for granted that... What, is he scared? He's fearful? Hey, everybody's scared. Anyone who's in that ring is scared. He's not controlling his fear. He's not taking it, and that's for people in all aspects of life, whatever they do. You have to take whatever it is that can intimidate you, and you got to put it on the side and say, okay, right now, I'm not going to let that get in the way. He's letting it get in the way. You see him holding on. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. by Davis. Back to the body. And he ties up on the inside. <laughs> Scorch. 
scored well upstairs with the right hand. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. Trying to go downstairs, but off target. Ten clicks of the talk. Cruz's approach that we just saw in that last round, it cannot continue. His work rate has to increase, doesn't it, Teddy? If he wants to win this fight, if he doesn't want to just survive. And that is the question. And that is in his mind, in his heart. Listen to me. I need you to keep busy, all right? I need more than one punch now. There you go. This okay. fight is even, so I need to see more than one punch out there. All right, listen. And round number three is underway. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Committing well now to that left hand over the top. And right from the start, he's throwing the power punches and landing them. I think he has a date and he wants to get to it. Just hugging there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Looking good. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Shaky, he was hurt. Stay with him, stay with him. Davis's right hand scores well. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Let's see some more head moves. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Keep him in front, okay? Don't let him move around too much. Put the ring on, then get off. Set the power shot up with the chair. Relax. Stay away from the power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Thunder's out in front as we take a look at Teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight. But they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out. Neither man has taken control of this bout so far. looking for that's a miss right there by the dream and 
now you can see him utilizing the jab. You know, a lot of times you see a guy on the outside bouncing around, staying away. You understand the use of a jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. 90 seconds to go in round number four. He just missed that shot up top. A punishing punch by Thunder. Now he's just walking him back a bit there up against the ropes. Keep working him, bud. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. is rocked and both men are damaged in this round wild stuff a very fan friendly round but a headache for the judges how do you possibly score that round when each man was able to hurt the other well this is where you have to be a good judge you have to be a professional judge you have to use the information that's there who won the spots of the round before they each hurt each other and who hurt the other guy a little more? How you doing? Keep your hands up. Don't worry, all right? I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up. Keep working the jab, okay? Okay. Cruz is off to a fresh start right now. That last round, he was really shook up. But he looks to be steady on his feet here. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's nice aggression work. and nice turn work. it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punches. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Halfway into round number five here. Hey, keep your hands up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. By an uppercut. You can see he's trying. Cruz is crushed by a right hand. Now, finish him off. Get out of the way from those punches. Move your head. The dream's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an. Getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Breathe now. Deep breath. Deep breath. Holy shit, you are in control of this fight, man. Don't get careless out there, right? Just just keep boxing smart. Nice work. Keep it up. This guy never... Okay, listen. He's going to come forward this round. Keep that jab moving. Keep him away from him, all right? I need you to keep moving. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Cruz's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with because if he does I think it's over
pay him back. Go pay him back. In and out. In and out. The dream stunned by a big shot. Look at that. That shot crashes in, and now he crashes to the canvas. You get lazy with your jab, you get sent to the canvas. One, two, three, four, five. Cruz is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No. The bicycle's not there, you got flat tires. What you gotta do is grab on the inside, clear your head. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Well-timed by Davis. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Thunder showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually, he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. You need to just keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now. I just need you to focus. Keep your hands up and keep... Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Six rounds in the books. Six to go. Keep moving. Keep moving. A stabbing right hand comes in by the dream. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Not able to land the headshot. Now he ties up there. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. He's throwing a lot of punches here. Now, his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, First of all, you gotta shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you gotta go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. Not an accurate hook at all. Oh! That's it. That's it. Keep working the body. And the round right, comes to an end. Deep breath. Deep breath. Get some water in. You're good. All right, okay, here you go. Come on, come on, champ. Let's throw some punches now. You got power, use it. Come on, we're losing the fight. Let's get into the fight now. Nah? We got to get back into this fight. Let's go. You're strong. A near perfect night being put forth here. But Davis has been exactly what we expected him to be. He's been dominating this fight, and there's no reason to think he won't have everything left. I mean, I'm looking at him, he doesn't even have his mouth open. 
breathing fine. He'll have plenty left for this. No, he's in good shape. And look, part of the reasons why he's in such good shape, I mean, he came here in good condition, but he's been allowed to go at a nice casual pace. with one of his own. Good work by Cruz. Davis has chosen a path here where he will not stand toe-to-toe -to -toe opposite his opponent. He's using some very good movement here against him. Yeah, he is. He's using those feet. He's using those wheels real well. But the key here is where to use them. He has to make sure that he breaks it off to the side every once in a while, not straight back. Otherwise, he'll get time. to go in this round. All that hard work in training camp, all those hours in the gym. Right now between rounds, Davis is grabbing one last breath before he goes out and does it again. It's paying off. Yeah, right now he's glad he got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. He wasn't then, but now he's glad he got up at 5 in the morning and ran those five miles. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. They are back to action here, but that action has only favored one man. Completely one-sided. Hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been. Scores with the combo to the head. Cruz has got to be careful here, Teddy, because he can't stay like this. Yes, he's throwing punches, but not you being effective at all. No, he's not. He's not landing. And that's bad for the scorecards, but as he continues doing this, it's going to be bad for his chin because he's going to start now getting counted. As time goes by, the more he misses, now his opponent's going to start doing the other part. He's going to come back and take advantage of those misses. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. <laughs> Halfway through this round. in the clinch. Nowhere close that punch by the dream. Davis's defense is paying off now. Last 10 seconds of the ninth round. And this round comes to an end. Thunder's well conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have them ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know what these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Take some chances. 
Right. Just relax, oh, relax. Oh, now we're losing every round, so let's get to it. Need to throw more. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Nice block by Davis. Davis is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Halfway through it's round right. 10. Just keep moving. <gasps> oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. There you go. Little head hunting with the left. Get after him. Keep pushing. Oh. Keep pushing. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. Nice, nice. You got to let your hands go, champ. You hear me? You have to. You have to be busy out there. This guy's beating you. Now, if you throw three or four punches in a row, you can turn this thing around. But you have to. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Just keep it up. Teddy, you've been in this spot before. Championship rounds have arrived. I'm looking over at your scorecard. Davis is up big, but there's always that chance. There's always that lottery ticket that could be landed. Exactly. He's looking to cash in on it, and I think it would come with the right hand because every once in a while, that left hand drags back a little slow, and I think the right hand has a chance to pull this one out. Not precise at all by the dream. Still not moving enough. Move, move. Blocks that punch. Davis is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. And just grabbing on to his opponent. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Commits to the straight right. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Big, big shot he just scored with. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it. The fight is over.
thunders, bombs away, worked again. Knockout victory for him. I like the way he finished things tonight, Teddy. Davis is your winner by knockout in a fight that he controlled throughout. Well, I'm glad you liked it. And just as importantly, or more importantly, his trainer, his manager, and his promoter like it because that means that he's going to be easier to sell now to television. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.